Okay guys, today we have this 4K turret camera by Amcrest. And uh, just to start off with the overall look, and I will tell you, this actually did surprise me, I wasn't aware of, that all of this housing is actually made out of metal. The camera housing, this kind of outer housing, and then this uh, mounting bracket here, all this is metal. So I thought that was really neat. So, um, so here's your actual camera, and then this is your infrared light that'll automatically turn on when it gets dark. So in the box, you're going to get one of these, and it's like your torch bit, but it's the security type where it has the little indent inside of it here. And you're going to want to not lose this, but you loosen this, and you're able to uh, move the camera all around and adjust it the way you need it, need to get it, and then you'll tighten it back down. Also, if you want to put an SD card inside of here, you're going to uh, loosen this some. Um, don't take it all the way out because you'll lose it, but you loosen it, and then you're able to take all the housing out. You'll take those four screws out and put an SD card inside. And uh, it needs to be completely inside because of the uh, weatherproofing. This camera is, let me see here. It's IP67 weatherproof. A couple of the other features. Let's take a quick look here. All right, uh, obviously the resolution it is up to 4K. It has a couple other settings it can have that's smaller than 4K. Maybe you don't want to take up so much of your hard drive space. Um, it does have a H.265 as well as H.264 compression. So the H.265 is a higher uh, compression and um, it's just more efficient. So it'll take up less hard drive space while still maintaining a very good picture. One-way audio, so you can listen to what this camera can hear, but you won't be able to talk back on it. Uh, and it's power over Ethernet. This is not a Wi-Fi camera, guys. So the best way to do it is power over Ethernet. That's just a either a, a power over Ethernet injector, a PoE injector, or a PoE router. Um, so then that way you'll have your power and your data. You just run one wire and you're all good. And you'll have very high quality video, very low lag, and everything will just be great if you do it that way. And that's just the best way to go. So this camera does support OnVIF, and that's a technology where Basically, all the standards are the same, so this camera can work with other software such as Blue Iris. That's what I plan on using it with. But it does also work with MCRES on uh, software. They have their own software that runs on a computer. They have their own NVRs. That's just your kind of network uh, video recorder. And they have their own uh, app that you can work on your phone. So they have all that, but you can also use these cameras for other pieces of software such as Blue Iris and there's a few other um, programs out there like that. So what I'm going to do now is actually get this camera mounted up and we're going to look at some video. Be sure to have your YouTube quality in 4K or at least it's the highest that you can actually view it in. All right, guys. So in this first clip, I can see that the 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 angle is extremely wide. I mean, from one camera that's placed over the center of my garage, I can see all the way to the right side of my property line, and I can see all the way to the left. So this is one of the few times where the picture is actually evenly lit. Um, I don't have a big shadow because it's cloudy outside, and uh, the picture is absolutely crystal clear. So unlike the last clip that was lit evenly across the frame, this one is lit very unevenly. So as we can see in the foreground, it's very dark, and then everything else is very bright. So what a camera has to do, generally, if there's a lot of brightness, it will turn down its sensitivity, turn down its ISO, and so the bright areas are properly exposed, but what that does, it will make the dark areas so dark you generally can't see them. Or the camera will turn up so it can see the dark areas and then it will blow out the bright areas till you can't see them. So as you can see, that doesn't happen in this camera. This camera's dynamic range is high enough to where it's able to see the dark areas and the bright areas all in the same frame, all on the same sensor at the same time. So I decided I would set up a little test here. 
I took my uh, measuring device here and I measured my entire driveway and it turns out it's about 42 and a half feet long and uh, here's the picture of my uh, I'm not sure what these things are called but there's the picture so I've got an old license plate that I used here for this test and even in this shot the dynamic range could be really problematic for cameras and I took this license plate out to 42 and a half feet and I just grabbed a screenshot out of this footage and increased it by 500 percent and as you can see we can easily make out that license plate no problem so even with everything else that's going on in the screen dynamic rain wise the camera sensor is still able to pick out those letters and numbers off of that license plate with no real issue guys so if something was to happen on your property you're definitely going to be able to identify them by their license plate and you'll be able to see faces and, and you know, everything you need to to be able to give to the police and whatnot all right a quick look at the night vision now this camera does have an infrared light on it but uh i do keep lights on at my house at night but as you can see this raccoon just walking around like he owns the place now amcrest has an app in the app store for Android and Apple and you can just put it on your phone and you can gain access to your cameras using your phone very simple process and as you can see uh, like right now I'm kinda pinching the zoom and so you can kinda zoom in there and, and take a look at things as detailed as you would like now if you have a SD card in there you can use the phone app and you can go back for several days, several weeks, depending on the size of your SD card and, and look at things and take snapshots and video clips and send them to people or send them to the police if you have to. But um, so that's really neat. So keep in mind, this section right here, I, it was just it was a screen capture and I um, just from my phone. So this isn't straight 4K, but my phone was viewing 4K but this screen capture section is not 4k this section is upscale and that's why you're probably seeing some jagged edges with the lines and whatnot like that but on your phone it doesn't look like this you are actually viewing a 4k feed and it looks amazing so I've included some videos to just kinda show uh, what this camera looks like on the outside of my house now I do have it mounted you know somewhat unconventionally but I think it looks pretty good um, its color it blends into this trim piece uh, over my garage quite nicely and you know no wires or anything like that sticking out because the wire is directly behind the camera and that's one piece of Ethernet cord that goes directly to my PoE switch alright guys that's gonna be it for this video if you like these types of videos or if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more go ahead and hit that subscribe maybe even the bell icon who knows uh, but yeah there's gonna be a lot more coming up so stay tuned